Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing your February love life. So please choose your group now. We have group number one, two, three, and four. All the timestamps are down below in the comment section and in the description box. If you need more time, please pause the video and let's get started. So starting off with group number one with the pink opal. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading my lovelies. So first we have the pink opal, beautiful crystal. Absolutely beautiful. So let's see what's going on for your February love life and then we're gonna pick up on some tarot. So trust the niggle. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? Oops, is that in the reverse? I'm not sure. Let's just go with that first of all. Commitment, sorry about the light guys. Let me swap those around so hopefully, mm, no. <laughs> I'm gonna put the non-reflective ones there. There we go. Okay, beautiful. We have childlike devotion. You are a multi-talented complex being. Embrace and love who you are. Beautiful. We have Okanite, past life patterns, all chakras. And then we have courage, which says, by shining brave and true and bright, my courage now returns this night. All right, we have so many different energies here. So the first thing I'm actually feeling is your commitment to yourself. Um, your commitment to kind of focusing on your childlike energy. So I do feel as if you are really being drawn to tune into your childlike sense of self. And this could be more towards you just accepting yourself for who you are, but it feels like you are really being encouraged to step into, or step, step out of your comfort zone, basically step out of your comfort zone. And you may be really dealing with a lot of past life patterns. I do feel the commitment is also to commit to yourself in terms of like boundaries and things like that. I'm really acknowledging any boundaries if they have been, you know, overstepped. The childlike devotion is a really lovely energy, especially because it's kind of saying like love and embrace who you are, like love and embrace all parts of you. You know, all this energy that we have been going through recently has really been triggering a lot of our old self, a lot of our past life patterns and our addictions and things like that. And just to let you know that if you know that you're kind of going back into an addiction, that is, you know, that is progress. That is, I'm hearing self-preservation. So I feel like for you guys, it's definitely a strong energy of moving through something that's just really uncomfortable. Um, the courage is also saying like, be committed to what you what you feel is your thing. So say if it could be your boundaries, say if it could be like a commitment that you really wanna go towards. If there's somebody who you're really interested in, I do feel it's a really good idea to have a lot of courage towards this connection and to possibly just really allow yourself to be vulnerable because that's what's gonna really kind of bring this connection to the forefront. I really love the fact that we have past life patterns as well. This isn't a really comfortable energy with this sense, but I do feel that this is preparing, this is preparing you for a long-term commitment. And I do feel like not to take things so seriously. You could be somebody who's quite a serious person. I do feel like it's important for you to just kind of keep swimming. Like uh, Dory says in Finding Nemo, just literally just keep swimming. Um, and if there's a feeling that's kind of causing you to feel uncomfortable, it's kind of like something you may sense is kind of off in a relationship or a connection, then this is kind of saying to trust the feeling and acknowledge it and possibly talk to your partner or your friend or anyone who's causing this kind of conflict within you. And it may be something you have to work through. You know, sometimes it's not always logical what we're feeling. Sometimes it can be something from our past life. Sometimes it can be something that we haven't worked through for a few years. It could be various different things. So it's kind of working through that energy and acknowledging that all of these feelings are sacred and they're, they're worth exploring, okay? So let's get you some tarot and we're gonna pull some dice as well. Let's see what else is coming towards you guys for February. Bring this up in the upright, there we go. I'm getting this really warm feeling around my heart. I feel like you guys are going to have your heart opened or your heart is gonna open that you've, you've kind of caused this to happen in a really lovely way. It feels very Taurian, like a really kind of open-hearted energy. Like, yeah, really just acknowledging that really soft energy. So I feel like the main thing you guys are actually working on is career. So I don't feel like there's a massive connection coming for you guys in February. I do feel like it's more focused on your career. It's more focused on 
your need to kind of balance yourself. There's definitely a lot of thoughts that you're having. I feel like my mind is going crazy in this reading. Like I feel like my mind keeps going off somewhere. You guys might have Gemini really strong in your chart because my brain is just not grounded. I feel like I'm not grounded in this, in this group. It feels very like my brain is just everywhere. So the Eight of Swords is kind of tying yourself up in knots. But she's kind of tied up. But if she kind of took her blindfold off, she'd see she'd have all these swords around her. So what this is basically saying is that she can cut herself loose at any time. And I'm not saying that you guys, you know, you're doing anything wrong or anything like that. This might just be that you need to take a chance on something. You need to kind of, you know, go over the threshold, even though it's uncomfortable. This is also saying to just take your time and not rush anything. You know, this is something that may you may need to kind of take your time on. I feel I'm hearing like fruits of your labor. You're going to get your, the fruits of your labor back from what you've been really putting into this relationship, this connection, or just in yourself. I do feel like you're not going to accept any offers that aren't good for you, that are kind of like mediocre, that are kind of like just, you know, whatever, they're little things, they don't really mean anything. And I do feel as if you are now kind of able to focus on yourself. Any connections that aren't good for you, I feel like you're going to let go this month and you're going to be able to really feel much more free. I feel like your heart is going to feel much more free. And this Queen of Pentacles is also saying just to really sustain yourself, like really look after yourself. This is a really important time for self-care. And we do have, from when I'm actually filming this video, the Mars is in Taurus, Taurus is in Mars. So it feels as if there's this en a really strong energy around self-care. And I do feel like for you guys, there may be a connection that's kind of holding you back in terms of your career. So it could be like somebody told you you're not good enough, you're not going to achieve anything and you kind of believed them. But then you kind of thought about it and thought, actually, it doesn't really matter what you think. Like, I, I want to do this for myself. So I do feel like this person or this situation, or it could even be your own mind, is holding you back from weighing out options to do this career. It could be your own business or it could be that you need to end kind of like a connection in your old life. And when I say old life, like basically like any career connections, like old connections around career, I feel like that's going to go. So you may be quitting your job in the month of February and I do feel like you may be entering into a new sort of situation here. There's also this little tent. I'm also feeling for you guys, you might be really kind of hermity this month. Um, March, sorry, not March, January and February are the ones that is more internal. They are in the most rough months of this year. So most likely when we come into more of March time or spring time, I do feel like there's going to be more love kind of, kind of going on. This is kind of preparing you for that. I do feel like this is allowing you to focus on yourself and focus on your boundaries and really focus on like how much you're giving to yourself. I do feel like it's keep coming back to yourself. I'm getting like really strong Virgo and really strong Gemini from this group. Like a sense of really focusing on you. Yeah, we have the seventh house, we have Aries and we also have Pluto. So Pluto is the underworld. Pluto is like a really intense planet. He's the one that does not play any games, girl. Um, and he's the one that kind of sets everything straight, looks underneath everything. So most likely it's telling you not to rush into anything, not to rush into any sort of relationship that doesn't suit you. This is also saying like you're the leader in your life. You know, you can choose what you want. Sometimes we don't feel like we have a choice because fear kind of gets in the way. But actually that fear is only what we can't, what we feel like we can't handle. But actually we can handle much more than what we give ourselves credit for. It's only what we think we can't handle. You know, our, our brain is very confusing. You know, we have three brains. We have one in our head. We have one in our stomach and one in our heart. So it's no wonder us humans can get really freaking confused sometimes. But the, um, the seventh house is very much to do with relationships. So I do feel as if you are learning to be the leader in your relationships. You'll learn to have choice. You'll learn to give yourself choice. And I feel like you're learning to also just step forward and be the leader in any commitment that you want. So if you want to start a commitment with somebody, I do feel like you will be doing that. I feel like you're going to be the leader, whether you're a male or a female. I do feel like you're going to step into your power and really just acknowledge that, you know, if, if something's meant for me, then it will come. But also if there's any sort of commitment that you want to kind of bring yourself to towards I do feel as if this is something that you're that you can easily kind of handle and you can easily kind of like put yourself forward into it if it's something that you feel passionate about okay let's get you one more card beautiful this is very synchronistic we have new pathways consider whether you're happy on your current path I feel like this is really accurate for you guys I feel like for you guys you've really been considering what to do and this is just really big clarification to take that leap of faith and go for it. And then to Lopes, I always see them as quite a scared animal. They do, they are going to be preyed upon very much in the wild. They are kind of like, you know, preyed on by lions and things like that by larger animals. You may have felt very scared and kind of out of control. And there may have been something that you felt like your situation was very much out of control. 
this is basically asking you to question if you're happy on your current path and just to let you know guys it may not be that in, in February you really solve what this is but this is kind of asking you is there anything that you need to adjust so you are happy and so you feel more free so you can run free so you can do what you need to do okay so thank you so much for watching guys my private reading rates are down below if you'd like a reading please feel free to message me through my instagram or my email i appreciate you thank you very much for being here i hope you have a lovely day and i'll speak to you soon much love bye hello group number two thank you very much for being here let's get started with your reading so you guys chose tourmalated quartz this is really good for yin yang energy this is really really good for allowing you to work on your shadows any kind of integration stuff like that this is i'm pretty sure this is tourmaline and clear quartz so that's pretty much why it's called that as far as i know so let's have a look at your cards let's see what's going on for group number two answer the call what is your soul calling you to do i love this card it's just so lovely and lovely colors and everything so beautiful okay we then have seeing both sides take a back take a step back and try looking at this from different perspectives. We have letting go. I love the purple in this as well. I'm getting really drawn to colors. I love the owls. Every time these owls come out, they make me laugh. <laughs> I don't know why, they're just so weird looking. They just they just really make me laugh. Animals really make me laugh. I love that. I have a water sign moon, so like any anything to do with animals, it's just it just cracks me up. Um, anyone with earth moon are probably just like rolling their eyes at me right now. <laughs> Okay, so we then have freedom and we have labradorite. Beautiful. You guys are feeling very expansive or the need to be expansive. Like your love life is really going to like kind of, uh, what's the word? Can you give me the word, please? Like kind of um, blow up. Like I'm seeing this, like I'm hearing this kind of thing. Um, it's going to be like an immediate thing. So I'm seeing you kind of like dropping things and just walking away. So I do feel like this is going to be the month for preparation for your partnerships. A lot of the groups I think are going to be like this because I do feel like the collective energy is going to be more about your love life. It's going to more kind of be manifested in March onwards. I do feel like January and February are more slow months. They're kind of a bit more difficult. So I do feel the fact we have seven, six and seven is like a really big synchronicity. We also have 21, 28, like really, really synchronistic numbers, 21, 23. Um, it's very much about, yeah, seeing both sides from this situation. I feel like you guys are very, very wise. I think you guys are extremely intellectual and you can't, you don't really give yourself um, enough credit for it. And it says with this wisdom on a Wednesday with a waxing moon, let wisdom come and be renewed. So it may be a waxing moon that something really triggers with you. And then we have allow the wisdom to remain, but the sting I shall never feel again. I really love this because it actually says wisdom and then we have wisdom twice. So whatever you're going through right now, this is giving you a lot more wisdom than what you think it is. You may think, oh, why is this situation so uncomfortable? Or why do I feel so uncomfortable? Basically, this is kind of preparing you for what is next. Like it's preparing you for the good stuff. So you have to learn this wisdom. It may be to also help others if you are an empath, if you're someone who's a healer something like that and I know sometimes it can be really draining and I honestly understand like I'm an empath myself that's why I do what I do because it's just it helps me to express my wisdom that I've learned through my intuition or just through my life and I think as well as sometimes when we do have a hard time it can be really hard to see outside of our, our energy especially if we're very deep so what this is saying is to see both sides like the hammerhead shark it has eyes on both sides of its of its head so it's basically allowing yourself to expand your view this may be actually going outside as well more and kind of being around more nature where there's larger expanse of nature like fields mountains um forests things like that maybe beaches um, but I do feel like this is, yeah, it's just kind of like you sitting and waiting for something to come in. And I do feel like that's definitely, it's, it's definitely a pre pre preparing month. I do feel that, especially in love. I mean, definitely in love. And I do feel like you're working on your sense of freedom in relationships. You're learning, okay, how do I want to be in this relationship? Do I want to be independent? Do I want to be more kind of um, have a closer connection with somebody? And it could be, depending on your, if you're single or if you're in a relationship, I do feel as if you are definitely working on your sense of freedom. And for those of you who are already in a relationship, I do feel like you're learning how much do I want to kind of commit myself in this situation? Like how much space do I need? And you may just be learning how to have your own space. You may be somebody who's very, very, very kind of 
I want to say quote unquote overly loving, which, you know, isn't really a thing. But, you know, when you can be kind of smothering people, you're kind of learning, actually, maybe I need to pull back a little bit or it may be the opposite way. Maybe you're very, very independent and you're learning how to love in a more kind of consistent, um, kind, yeah, more consistent way. I do feel like you guys are learning your love language this, this month. I really feel that. It feels like a very personal journey. And I do feel like you may get some downloads psychically about how to really integrate this. And I do really love this because it's kind of, it says take a step back and try looking at this from a different perspective this kind of shows me that you guys may need to especially if you're a fixed sign if you're somebody with a lot of fixed traits um, you may be somebody who really does need to put in the effort to step back because when you are a fixed sign or you have fixed sign tendencies it, you definitely get stuck within one certain pattern and one way of thinking and you kind of forget oh crap like this is <laughs> this is something that I actually need to let go of you know and it might not even be anything intense it might just be the way you see yourself maybe you need to let go of that and how you see your journey and how basically how to let go of stressing out and straining and forcing yourself to think in a certain way when actually you just need to be yourself you know and you don't have to be anything for anyone you just got to be you girl like you just got to be you all right this one I love as well you might be really connected to labradorite this month or um tourmalated quartz um I want to read this card actually the energy of freedom supports our sense of limitless possibility and potential, boundless expression and bold exploration. Yeah, so it's really having the confidence to move forward like past the threshold and also do things that maybe you're a bit scared of doing. Say if it's something you're passionate about, whether it's a job, whether it's a... Uh, even a commitment to somebody you may have commitment issues or you may work kind of be working on your commitment and how your commitment style is like because not everyone's commitment style is the same so I feel like you're working on how do I want to be committed in my relationships and you may get an inkling of this 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 month it may be through a friend or through like a connection that's really close it might not even be a part romantic partnership because I do feel like you're learning how to love and obviously we all know how to love very very genuinely we're we're born out of love you know it's that's how essentially we're born you know but I do feel as if your journey your soul has gotten a little bit confused on how to love and how to really appreciate yourself because maybe you've been let down so much that you've kind of debated whether this is the right sort of thing that you should be doing whether that's something you're passionate about whether that is someone's opinion of you whether that's your love from your parents maybe you felt very unloved or rejected something like that I do feel like there's a really deep meaning for this group I think a lot of these groups are going to be pretty deep because I feel like a lot of us are going through some really deep soul patterns and releasing that perfect yeah there's definitely a new start for you guys I really really love this um yeah so a new way of thinking is going to break you out of this stubborn uh, energy and when I say stubborn energy, I don't mean that you're stubborn. I feel like the energy is just extremely stubborn. Like it's something that's been weighing on you. Even for years, this could be like five, 10 years, you've been in the same repeating cycle for so long. And you're like, why the F can I not change this? And it might be that you need to do some soul retrieval, like um, shadow work. So there's various ways you can do shadow work. I would highly recommend getting somebody who does it so you can be guided through it. But you can also get meditations and things that really bring you into a state of understanding what's going on with you. And I love how we have two aces, this really strong, it's like a really powerful decision that you're going to make. And we have the nine of cups as well. And you're really happy about the decision that you are making. So we have the ace of swords and we also have the, the ace of pentacles. So this is showing me that you're going to make a really strong decision. You may feel like you're going backwards, but you're actually going forwards. You're just being kind of pulled and then you're going to spring forward. Um, I'm getting like a bungee cord, like you're kind of feel like you're going up and down all the time and like nothing's really manifesting, but actually you're, you're being prepared for this towel moment. So it may feel like really uncomfortable. I'm hearing like popping a spot. Sometimes it can be really uncomfortable and like quite painful, but then when you do it, you're like, oh, you know what? I feel so much better now. No, I know not everyone pops their spots, but for those of you who do grow up, sometimes it can be very, very, very satisfying. <laughs> all right. So let's see what else is coming for you guys. Do I want to roll those again? Do I? Mm, let, yeah, let's roll those again. I wasn't sure about that. I need to give them a good old, good old shuffle there. Perfect. Yeah, that feels good. Right, so we have the ninth house, Cancer and Jupiter. This is lovely. Let's swap those two around. Okay, so the Cancer energy is very nurturing. It's very loving. It's somebody who um, can give freely without conditions. So Cancer is also... Get, on the opposite, they can really worry. They can also be kind of too uh, over-dependent on other people or things or food or anything like that. 
and they can also be extremely moody. So what I'm feeling is for those of you who are really suffering right now emotionally and wanting a partnership or wanting a connection of any kind, I feel like you guys are kind of feeling like that. You're feeling kind of moody, kind of really stressed out. What this is saying is to see things from a different perspective and shift your energy back. So this could be meditating. This could be just acknowledging where you are. You are on the right path. You are doing nothing wrong. There is nothing wrong with you. There's no reason why you are still single or your relationship is possibly kind of going differently you know this is nothing there's nothing wrong with this we have the ninth house of Sagittarius Sagittarius always see things from a broader perspective they're not really the most judgmental sign I don't feel they're a very much of a sign of seeing things from a really like far away they can they're very good at kind of worldly issues because they're somebody who mediates they don't judge so that's what I'm feeling it's kind of like not judging yourself and knowing that you are on the right path because we have Jupiter here. So this is preparing you for your relationship. You may meet someone through communicative energy. So like Instagram, Facebook, um, a dating profile. But I feel more to do with like social media because they, they're looking at your profile. And then it may feel like oh, all kind of is lost. And then boom, somebody comes in through this energy. And they may be offering you like a business thing. So say if you work from home or you're an influencer or something like that, they may offer you some kind of brand deal or something. And they may actually be, that could actually be your partner. Or it could be you see someone who also has that same brand deal. And then they have, and then they basically, that's how you meet. It's very like particular. It's very, very particular. But you definitely have a lot in common with this person you're going to meet. It does feel like you may not exactly meet them in February, but there definitely is a connection around you. I'm feeling it. It feels like somebody's ready to come in. I'm picking up on um, April. Like somebody is um, around me and I actually feel like a skater boy. So some of you guys, that could be, that could be them. There's someone quite thin. I'm actually picking up those of you who are a teenager. They, they're going to be a teenager as well. Those of you who are obviously any other age, just take it as it resonates. Does, that was not obviously not going to resonate for those of you who are a bit older. Um, but those of you who may kind of um, manifest somebody who's very artsy, very creative, very genuine, very like kind of a little bit flamboyant. So if they're male, they might be a little bit feminine, but that's because they're very artsy. Um, and same on the opposite side, they could be feminine, they could be a female, but have quite masculine qualities. Yeah, it feels very interesting. It feels like it feels like something's being shook. It's kind of like I'm seeing um, somebody digging for gold and they're scooping up the dirt and they're shaking that little sieve thing and then all the gold is appearing. But the gold for you hasn't appeared yet. It's still like you're still shaking it. So I feel like March and April is going to be much more fluent for you, much more much more fruitful. So, but this, this is meant to happen, guys. You might get like a sudden message from somebody and it may like completely change your life. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you'd like a private reading, all that information is down below. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys chose the beautiful Howlite. I love Howlite. It's really relaxing crystal. It's very cold as well. It's like a lovely kind of cold crystal, kind of really good for relaxing. And it's a bit like marble. Very much got that really strong, dense energy. So let's see what's going on in your love life for February. We have no, wait, postpone, pause, say no. That is so like, just right in your face. I love it. <laughs> it's just like, if you wanted a yes, it's not, it's, not the, it's not the group for you, girl. Okay, oh, I love this card. It's one of my favorites. Dancing in the rainbow, number seven. Break free from whatever is holding you back. Express happiness, find out what you truly desire. We then have love. Oh, Aphrodite, I call to thee to bring a true love here to me. Number one, attraction. Oh, guys, you got some really good cards in this group. New opportunities, heart chakra. Okay, well, I'm liking this group. The last two groups, they were kind of a little bit slow. You guys have like have been shaken up. Um, you guys have mostly been, most likely been through a dark night of the soul or some sort of extreme transformation because this is like new. This is a new version of you that you haven't kind of, able to um release into the world almost so it's kind of like i'm hearing like a, um, a limited edition like you know when you get like barbies or dolls and they're like limited edition this is that energy it's like you haven't you've, you're a limited edition but it's like you're pre-ordering you're pre being pre-ordered you know your en your energy is being pre-ordered so you know what you want you know it's coming it just literally has not appeared yet so it's literally you're waiting for it or like you know when you wait for food to cook and normally it takes ages if you're literally waiting for it or waiting for a pot to boil that is this energy it's like don't focus on it too much because the more you focus on it the more you're going to like really focus on the lack you know and focus on you know what is not happening so i freaking love this group we have no wait post postpone pause say no this is obviously saying for you to wait this is obviously saying for you to step back and if there's any kind of need for control or kind of forcing things and this is just saying to step back and really um, let this let these emotions flow. I'm hearing let these feelings go, let these emotions flow. 
my guides, they like to rhyme. Okay, so dancing in the rainbow, break free from whatever is holding you back, express happiness, find out what you truly desire. This is basically saying to not take life too seriously. Do something for you today. While you're watching this video, maybe get yourself some tea, get yourself some water, get yourself a nice snuggly blanket, whatever you're doing, do something for you. Even if it's like you're in the car, you know, obviously hopefully you're stopped when you're listening to this or maybe you're driving when you're listening to this. I just feel as if it's, it's a sense of like being really present and not worrying about what you're doing wrong and just focusing on you, you know, because you're not actually doing anything wrong. We're never really doing anything wrong unless we're obviously doing something extremely bad to us, somebody else or harming ourselves, you know, but it's kind of like a focusing on freedom and what you can change and what you do have control over and just flipping your... Um, Flipping your kind of sense of oh, Mercury retrograde is doing my head in. <laughs> Flipping your sense of like the way you, your outlook. Thank you. Your outlook, the way you look at things. So love, obviously, number one, new opportunities and love. I do feel like love is around you. I genuinely feel like for those of you who actually feel like, no, I'm never going to beat anyone. I genuinely feel like some of you guys could actually meet someone this month. Um, or you could have a really strong attraction to somebody. It might not be a relationship fully forms, but I do feel like you're going to find someone you're really attracted to. And this doesn't actually have to be a partner. This could be like you're really attracted to a friend because it's like a soul connection. It's not like obviously I'm phys not physically attracted to them, but you're really attracted to the energy. Like you're very much like a, a soulmate with the with your friend. And I'm not saying, as I say, I'm not saying like an intimate connection. This could this could be an intimate connection, but for some of you guys, it could be you meet like a really lovely friend who you just really connect with. And I do feel like it's definitely new opportunities to expand your heart chakra, like really strong opportunities for you to just get in there, girl, and just let it expand. Um, and I feel like this lovely kind of energy of like, like going straight into the middle, you are finally in this section. You're no longer here waiting to like move through. You're literally right in the middle, like ready to start something new. So attraction number nine, the energy of attraction amplifies the qualities that attract and support us on our journey towards inner balance and harmony. This is showing me to go towards things that you're attracted to and don't deny them of yourself. So say if you really want to buy some new clothes, freaking do it. If you want to I know take that job go towards it it's kind of like whatever you're being drawn to naturally and also ask for help if you if you want to attract something but you're not sure how to get it ask the universe or how, whoever you kind of affirm to whether it's god whether it's jesus whether it's an angel you know whoever you talk to and you believe in ask that deity for help you know sometimes we just need that extra boost and also you may be somebody who right now is having counseling or talking to a new friend and they're really helping you on your journey to just help you open your heart chakra this feels like just allowing your heart to open like there is nothing wrong with opening your heart there is nothing wrong with really being open-hearted because if you are open-hearted you're allowing all these new all these lovely new energies to come in which is really really beautiful and I feel like for you guys, I saw a quote recently and it says true, true love will never hurt you. Exact, which is so beautiful. It's so true because when we have true love, unconditional love, there's no conditions. You know, love isn't conditional. Love isn't, I'm going to do this for you because I, because then I can, then you can do that for me. It's like, I genuinely love you and I want you to be happy. That is unconditional love. And then also when you are in an unconditional relationship, whether it be friendships, whether it be family, whether it be um, a partnership, all those things, if somebody genuinely really cares for you, they will do things because they love you and there won't be any conditions. You know, it won't be, I have to do this because ugh, you told me to. It's like, I freaking love you and I want you to be happy. And then you know that because you're giving that energy out, it will come back to you as well. And that's not conditional. It's, it's a kind of a difference. It's like, expecting it versus not expecting it you know and that's what I feel like you're really coming into which is so so lovely and I'm really happy for you guys and I love all the shapes that we have here as well I'm being drawn to like the lightning and the rainbow and the swell like it's all very like a lot of movement going on and rainbows are really rare sometimes you know especially if you're in a country where it doesn't rain very much you might not even have even seen a rainbow in real life you know so for you that may be a really fantastic experience to witness that and I, for me, I've definitely been seeing a lot of rainbows recently. I don't know if, if I remember, I'm going to put a picture up here um, of a rainbow that I saw a few months ago. It was so beautiful. And it, it, for rainbows, they're like, they're such a lovely energy for me. I absolutely adore rainbows. Like rainbows and stars, I'm just obsessed with. I just think like, thank you. I just thank the earth for like showing me that because nature is so freaking beautiful and it's just so unexpected. It just literally looks after us. And we, you know, as human beings, obviously the, the darker side of it takes advantage of that. So really, and it's basically what I'm trying to say is like really witnessing 
the, the love that you do have for yourself and the, and the love that is given to you through the earth, whether that be through fresh food, whether that be for, and just like looking on the positive side, like trying your best to do that because rainbows don't come around every day, you know, obviously unless you have that sort of type of weather every day. But I don't, I really don't feel that. I feel like it's definitely something that is rare, you know? Beautiful. You guys are moving forward. You guys are ready. You guys are literally so ready for this. You guys have gone through the crap that is so uncomfortable. You're just like, ugh. Some of you guys are only getting a cat or you may have like a cat sitting next to you while we are watching this video. I'm, I'm picking up on like a purring sound and we also have the strength card here with the lions. So we have Aquarius, Cancer and Leo energy really strongly here. So that you could be dealing with somebody like that. Um, but also this is all sides of you coming together, like the passionate, the emotional, all that sort of thing. And I do feel that there is definitely a sense of belonging coming in. I feel like you felt really out of out of luck recently and there's definitely a strong sense of belonging that's really coming towards you, which is absolutely gorgeous. The strength card is saying that you've done the work, girl. You've absolutely done the work. You have been doing really, really well. Give yourself a freaking pat on the back right now um, and just say well done because you've done, you've done everything you can. And in terms of love, I do feel like the best thing you can do is focus on your inner child. What do you need right now? And what makes you happy? Like you may be watching things from your childhood. You may be doing things like you did when you were a child, like even playing with like little like dolls or anything like that, or buying yourself a cuddly toy, something like that, just like a really nurturing energy. And I feel like when you do this, you're gonna be able to witness a lot of love around you because you're accepting yourself for the way you are. You're not pushing or judging yourself for the things that you feel. Some of you guys may be feeling a little bit confused. You may have too many options at the moment with love. You may, maybe you have too many options with like dating and things. And the best advice I can give to you with that is if you really love somebody, you just love them. Like if you are in between like a love triangle or you have like three people you're really interested in, just know that if you are, if you don't know which one you want, then it's not the right connection with any of them. Because if you know that you really love them and you're ready for it, you'll know, you will just know who is the right connection. So let's see what else you're focusing on for February love life. We have Virgo, ninth house, and we also have uh, Uranus. So, okay, so the Virgo energies, I see about health and perfectionism. So you guys may feel as if um, you have to be this perfect person all the time, and you have to like be this like absolute, just, just perfect, you know, and you're perfect the way you are anyway, but I feel like it's this kind of having to be like a robot all the time and just take people's crap without you having to say anything. I feel like you guys are definitely gonna have a revelation about the way you think. Um, and you're gonna start to really speak your truth. Virgo rules Mercury, you know, like Gemini. So it's really about speaking your truth. And Geminis and Virgos definitely struggle with, with their speech. That's why it is ruled by Mercury because that's one of their lessons is to really speak your truth. And the ninth house is also about higher education. It's about philosophy travel. So you guys could be traveling if you're able to. Um, I also see you might be learning something new. You may be even changing your religion, something like that. But it does feel like a massive, like immediate thing. So you may be um, even meeting somebody through your daily routine who literally just moved to your town. Or it could be somebody who you meet through fitness. So it could be somebody literally working out in the park or running in the park and you, you like bash into them and you're like, oh, sorry. And then you're like, oh, damn, you, you sexy girl or you sexy man. <laughs> you know, so that sort of thing. That's what I'm picking up on. It feels very natural. You could meet from someone through work as well this month um, or got like an inkling of somebody coming in. Okay, I love this one. Stepping into your power. Don't take a back seat in your story. It's time to step up. So this frog is basically saying like, frogs are very, they're a very wet creature. They're, so, they're, a, they're a mammal that is a rep, reptile? Is an animal that can survive wind, water and also on land. So this is basically about being adaptable and acknowledging all your emotions as sacred and knowing that they're coming up for a reason and to acknowledge them and let them come through and just say, look, I see you, I'm gonna acknowledge you, thank you for being here, thank you for protecting me. Sometimes you just gotta say like, thank you for protecting me, but I don't need you right now, Like, but thank you for showing up for me um, because they're there to protect you and they're, they're there to help you. And um, don't take a back seat in anything that you wanna do. If there's something you're really passionate about or there's a move you need to make, then freaking go for it, girl. This is your sign, okay? Thank you so much for watching this reading. If you'd like to purchase a private reading, uh, sorry guys, I can't speak at the moment. Friggin' Mercury ret Retrograde, <laughs> love it. Um, if you guys would like to purchase a reading from me, all the information's down below. You can purchase through my Instagram messages or email, just let me know what one you would like to purchase and I'll give you all the rates and information you need to know. Um, I also have a crystal shop down below. If you'd like to check that out, please do. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I hope you are well and I'll speak to you soon.
bye hello group number four thank you so much for being here let's get started with your reading so we have the beautiful pink opal let's see what's coming for you guys within your love life in the month of february so starting with the first card we have break the chain ancestral patterns healing rewrite in the future beautiful really powerful energy for you guys we then have shedding the old that makes so much sense shedding the old there is a change coming your way cultivate a sense of adventure so you'll be able to see these new project this um i don't know what this creature is called is it a, some some type of crab like thing i've totally forgotten the name lobster i'm not sure but it feels like like they have kind of like a hard shell and then obviously when you eat that type of animal you have to crack it open that's kind of what i feel like is happening for you, you kind of got to give it a little bit of force like a little bit of a tap kind of thing safe travel keep me safe and let me roam far away but bring me home we then have curiosity in the reverse and we also have ruby passion root and sacral chakras so i'm going to read this card to you guys as well the frequency of curiosity supports our intrinsic inquisitive nature which is the necessary driving force behind growth any growth and evolution Oh, I just got like a massive pain in my sake in my solar plexus. That felt really scary. Whoa, okay. The, those of you who are really suffering with this, I feel like you guys are really working on your anxiety um, or feeling like nervous, scared, like nervously, like, ah, I'm scared. Like, I don't know what to do. That's what I'm picking up on. So if you guys are really going through like some really intense soul patterns, I commend you if that's the right word. Like I'm like, I'm giving my heart to you, my love for you right now. Like it's, it is really, really hard for stuff like this, but you're meant to go through it. Um, it's kind of like I'm hearing climbing the ladder. So as I said with the other groups, this month is going to be more of a transition month than anything else, because I feel like with uh, astrologically and energetically, we are definitely going to be moving more into physical manifestations of relationships, more in like March, April time, like more into the other month january and february is a really slow month so i feel like for you guys this is actually preparing you for shedding the old so you can create the new so it's being curious about what is next for you what is coming for you what is really supporting you and we have number 22 so obviously you may not be traveling you may be i'm not sure it just depends on your situation um literally safe travel is so funny because it's literally like all about safety right now um, and things like that so I feel like for you it's actually safety within yourself and when you're traveling I do feel like this travel is actually emotional travel as well it's like your energy is traveling so fast because it because our like energetic energy like the energies around the world they're traveling so fast too that we can't actually keep up so a lot of us are really like like our soul patterns are literally coming up to be rejuvenated like ASAP so I feel like you are really learned for you're learning to cultivate safety you'll learn to cultivate um, a sense of just really allowing yourself to be your, be free. And I do feel as if you may be somebody who uses travel to kind of, um, kind of distract yourself. So I do feel like you're working on yourself right now and because you basically haven't got any choice essentially, but I do feel like this is good because you're rewriting the future. Your soulmate, your partner, your person or friendships, they're all going to be there for you waiting on the other side of this and you can do it, okay? Sometimes the waters are really choppy and sometimes they're really calm. That's just what it's like having anxiety or any type of emotional distress, you know. have got to be, get curious about it. Get curious about what those feelings are <clears throat> and kind of work through them as you can. So Ruby is all about passion. Ruby is a gorgeous crystal, very sexy. It's like a very sexy crystal. So you guys may be kind of, um, as I say sexy crystal, I mean, it is really pretty, but also it kind of in it kind of inhabits this like really sexual energy. So for you guys, this is all about you getting grounded in your sexuality. So this could be literally how you relate to the world, whether like you're gay, you're straight, you're bisexual, any of those things, it could be those. But it could also be how you relate to yourself and what feels right for you, like what makes you feel comfortable. Um, and the passion is all about what you are seriously passionate about. Like if you are kind of getting overwhelmed in this emotion right now, it's really important for you to stay grounded within what you're passionate about and literally put your focus so intensely onto one thing. I think that will really help you. Obviously make it something that is healthy. You know, don't try not to go into addictions or anything like that. And obviously if that happens, that's totally fine. You know, most of the time we're aware if you are watching these types of videos, you're pretty much aware of when you go back into them anyway. And even if you're not, you know, life is about changes and curiosity and we learn in our own time and I feel like it's giving yourself time I feel like you're somebody who's very strategical you're somebody who feels like you have to have everything sorted like straight away and you don't 
you really don't you just have to work on it as you go healing is not linear healing is all over the place and sometimes it's round and round sometimes it's up and down sometimes it's swirly you know you gotta give yourself credit you gotta give yourself more credit i feel all right you've been through a lot girl give yourself credit i feel like some of you guys are going to eat donuts oh i just got that lucky you because i really fancy one right now <laughs> all right let's see I'm picking up on London. I'm here in the UK. Oh, that's a great card. Beautiful. I love this card. It always makes me really happy. The fact that it's about love makes me happy, but also I just love the colours. I love the her purple dress. It just, yes, love it. Okay, let's see what else we have. I'm hearing the song I'll Be. I don't know if any of you guys have seen the Cinderella story. Um, oops. But it's a song called I'll Be, and it's a really lovely, gentle song. It's about love and kind of connected to, your, to somebody. So I really love that reverse note upright this is about you speaking your truth in your relationships a really powerful message here um speaking up some of your i'm hearing some things you say can be piercing not to say that you've done anything wrong it's basically saying you kind of need to be assertive you actually need to be piercing sometimes because even if you're somebody who's like a mediator you may be a libra or something like that where you don't want to kind of cause any like kind of harm or anything but i'm saying harm because at the end of the day if you're speaking your truth you're not causing harm you're just being authentic you know I do feel like love is actually coming in for you guys. I feel like you guys may, be, may already be in a relationship. It could be a Pisces coming towards you. As well, we have Justice and Queen of Swords. Yeah, I feel like the more you speak your truth, the more you're going to have attention come towards you. Like, people are going to start noticing you more. This could be people, like, around your, like, around your house, around... Uh, not like in your house, but like around, like, where you live. Um, people start noticing you more. And people may be asking for your number and stuff. Um, it feels it feels really interesting. I'm getting like a heartbeat as well. I'm hearing like a heartbeat. Um, some of you guys may be pregnant. Some of you guys um, may, you know, be quite far along with your pregnancy. I'm just hearing like a heartbeat and like you connect into your heart. And obviously when I say pregnancy, this is a planned pregnancy. This isn't kind of like um, something that's happened kind of spontaneously. Um, I do feel like you guys are really connecting with your partner if you're already with somebody. I feel like you're learning to get closer um, and not restrict yourself out of feeling unsafe. Um, and kind of being vulnerable. So the Ace of Pentacles, I do feel like a new kind of energy around career is kind of coming up. And we also have the Ace of Cups. So there's definitely some new starts happening. I feel like it's going to be fragments of, st of new starts. It's not going to be like all in one go. I feel like it's going to be like, oh, a little bit there, oh, a little bit there. So it might be like a message from somebody or like more people looking at you. Um, and maybe someone hitting you up on Instagram. It just feels like something quite random. Something like that. I feel like you need to protect yourself. I feel like you feel the need to protect yourself. Oh, I'm getting like really nervous in this reading. I feel like some of you guys are really nervous. Maybe you're going on a date or something and you're like, oh, this is scary. You know, something like that. Okay, so we have uh, Leo 10th house and we have North Node. Some of you guys are like doing this, like stirring something or pizza. Maybe you're like stirring the tea, stirring pot. Like um, it could be like gossip or something that you're like working through with somebody. Um, somebody kind of has the wrong message I'm hearing. So it could be like you've judged somebody too quickly and then maybe you want them back or something like that. There's a lot of different messages in this group. Like I'm getting so many different things. So we have Leo, 10th house, North Node. We are going through like a Leo Mars situation right now, which I actually, Leo Mars? Taurus Mars. I think it's, I think it's Taurus Mars. I love this energy. It's really calm and really slow. I actually really, really like it. It's very comfortable. Um, so even though like Taurus isn't comfortable in Mars, I actually feel really comfortable with this energy. Um, so maybe it's a Scorpio in me. <laughs> I don't know. Um, right. Leo 10th house North Node. So essentially your, your career is going to change. You're going to start to feel much more creative. I feel like you're going to feel much more decisive with your career. Like you're going to understand how, what you want in your career and you're going to start to feel like you can really, um, step into your truth around what you're passionate about. So I do feel as if your North Node obviously is about where you're going. It's where you're heading towards. So it feels like you're wanting a career you're really passionate about and that could be how you meet your person. Um, the 10th house is obviously about career. It's about long-term goals, structure, reputation. It's ruled by Capricorn. So you, you know, girl, you know it's going to be disciplined. So I feel like this is a really strong energy around kind of stepping into your power and accepting things as the way they are and actually looking at things and thinking actually do I really need to change something or, or can I change something like I really feel need to like literally look at things as they are like if something is not comfortable literally look at it as it is do you need to step out of the situation do you need to step your step forward do you need to say something that's what I'm feeling like really literally taking action on something 
Um, some of you guys might not even know what this is yet. I do feel like it's a lot to do with speaking your truth, really standing up for what you're believing as well. Um, you may be starting like a group or something online where you're really just letting yourself be free and be authentic. It feels really lovely. There's so much about speech in this group. You could be even protesting or something like that uh, where you just feel like you really need to do something about kind of what your what your beliefs are or something like that. It just feels like giving giving something and letting something be free and let it be let it flow. Um, also, Leo is about the fifth house, which is about romance and love affairs, play, creativity, childlike energy. So this is about you having more fun and taking things lighter, lightly, and knowing that everything will improve. And if you are single, you will get love. Maybe not in February, but there is somebody around you. It could be a Pisces who kind of is like, hey, like, do you want this cup? This cup of love? <laughs> and you're like, mm, let me think about it. I'm an independent woman. Let me think about it. <laughs> okay. I'm seeing that you've been given flowers as well, or you may be buying your own flowers. It just feels like a lovely energy of like, I'm going to treat myself or somebody saying like, I'm going to treat you, which is lovely. Yeah. It just feels very lovely. It could be to do with um, Valentine's Day as well. I'm seeing that box of chocolates and stuff. So yeah, I just see like a massive energy of treating yourself. I do feel like you need to treat yourself like more, honestly, like treat yourself more girl. <laughs> okay, let's like, step into your power, speak your truth. You're doing an amazing job. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you'd like a private reading, all my information's down below. Uh, also my crystal shop is down there too. Hope you have a lovely day. I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye.